The last 10 games, Kobe White has averaged 22 points, 5.5 rebounds, and 5 assists per game. And honestly, Kobe has looked like an all-star. He's been putting the game together. It's been slowing down, and he's learning what he has to do to be a leader on this team. From what we're seeing, how he's been playing, it begs the question— is Kobe White officially the future of the Chicago Bulls? We're going to talk about that right after the intro. Give me the hot sauce, Bob. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. Welcome back, Bulls fans, to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name's Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, if this is your first video, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button so you can join the family and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. And with that, let's get right into it. Three things that have made Kobe White, in my mind, the future of the Bulls. The first thing we're going to talk about is Kobe White's work ethic, okay? Kobe White is putting in effort every summer to learn more. He's not happy just being a normal player, and you can see that. He worked on his handles. He's working on his three-point shot. He's learning how to get to the rim, and he's working on being a better distributor for his teammates. Since we've seen Kobe come into the league, there's a lot of plays that would have been turnovers his first couple of years where now they are plays that are honestly highlight plays for him where he's getting through defenders, he's making great passes, or he's getting around someone that you didn't think he could get around with his great handles. And that's what you love to see. A young talent that is starting to grow for this Chicago Bulls team. And honestly, part of the thing that's helping him grow in that worth ethic, ethic is that he's starting to show what it does for you when you put in the effort. Kobe has become one of the most deadly three-point shooters in the league when he's on, right? And for a little bit of time this year, he looked like he was a young Steph, okay? And I don't say that lightly. He was pulling up from everywhere. Half court, the corner, moving threes, off screens. He didn't care. And honestly, the Bulls didn't care because if he shot it, it was probably going in. Now, mind you, that has to be also talked about with him having that streak. He also had a giant decline for a little bit where he couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. And I definitely think that's because he did work on his jump shot to make some adjustments this year. I think that he'll be working on that even more this summer. So next year we can expect a very, very deadly and consistent Kobe White from three. Now, on top of that, he's also been working on his handles. And what his extra work on his handles has allowed him to do is get to the rim. Right, Kobe now is getting where he wants to go, whether it's pulling up for the mid-range or driving to the basket, hesitating to get through his defender and getting the layup he wants. Now, him getting to the rim is only making him a better three-point shooter because at this point, how do you guard a person who once they step past half court can pull up for a jump shot? And when you guard him for that shot, they can speed right past you and get to the rim or get your big man to step up so he can have an open pass to Vooch. Kobe White is learning how to play the game and play it at a high all-star contending level. And that's what I want to see. And not only that, he's also working consistently on his defense. Kobe White's been putting in the effort and he's doing the things you want to see from a player you want to be your star. Now, the second thing we're going to talk about is Kobe White, during the last few seasons, has been a liability on defense, just like Zach, just like DeMar. But he's starting to really put effort. You can see he's trying to learn from Caruso. Kobe's become one of our best defenders. He makes good decisions. He's always happy to sit there and get a charge, and he doesn't back down from anyone. There's times when we see him up against Giannis. We see him up against Brooke Lopez, and he's trying to fight. Okay, he's not just giving up because he's too small. He's giving the effort you need to see on the defensive end, especially when the Bulls nowadays, their entire offense starts with their defense, right? The thing that makes the Bulls the best is when they're playing good defense, turning teams over, and getting out on the fast break. So him putting that effort there is also helping the Bulls. Now, I'm going to move on to the third point. Kobe White, yes, has been great at scoring. He's been learning the game. And he's also been great, honestly, throughout the season at playing defense, 
But the, another key point, and the last point I'm going to talk about is Kobe White's leadership, okay? Kobe's not only improving in his skill, but he's learning how to get the team involved. He's helping his teammates look better, and he's motivating them to be the best them they can be. You see Kobe talk to players on the sideline, get them involved, tell them what they need to do, and you can tell the Bulls listen to him, right? He's becoming one of those players that his voice is being heard when he has something to say, and he's not afraid to say it. On top of that, he's starting to want to close out games. Kobe's not afraid of the big moment. We saw last game, he took the ball and got the layup to close it out against the Raptors. He is officially starting to take the points where he wants to take those shots. And I love seeing that we have a young player that could be our star who is also wanting to be the leader of the team because that's going to be something that helps him stay here for years to come. I truly, truly hope that Kobe White becomes the young star talent that the Bulls draft, develop, and keep throughout most of his career, if not all of his career. I want Kobe to be a Chicago Bull for a long time because I believe him as well as Alex Caruso, but there's a chance Alex could leave. Kobe sets the tone of what the Chicago Bulls are. You fight at all moments. You give 110%. And if your offense isn't working, you find another damn way to win. And that is what Kobe has. He has that dog in him. Okay? So, what I want to do is I want to hear from you guys. How do you feel about Kobe White? Do you think Kobe White is the number one of this team? Do you think he's the future of the Bulls? Leave it down in the comment section. Also, don't forget to share this video with a friend. The more you share it, the more subscribers, the more subscribers, the more I get to make videos for you guys. And with that, y'all have a great night. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.